I think the first thing we need to say about the report is that the former chair resigned uh, and has called this report toothless and bland. Uh, and she's also called into question the how independent this report is. Let's let's be absolutely clear. Drug deaths in Scotland is our national shame. We have the most. 1,339 people died for no reason in Scotland. And that is the most in Europe. And we have been the most in Europe for two years. Two years. Five times more than in England. And Nicola Sturgeon not only said she took her eye off the ball, but actually we're at the stage now where Nicola Sturgeon is now looking at some pretendy ref instead of worrying about people dying in our country. It's an absolute disgrace. And this report doesn't tell us anything that we didn't already know. And a report that came out slightly earlier and we got to debate in Parliament uh, told us that the medical assisted treatments, only 17% of those standards had been met. This is just an absolute disgrace. And all you hear from the SNP is we will learn lessons. We will learn, learn lessons. And this is in a myriad of things. By now, they should be professors of absolutely everything uh, to do because simply they are not doing their job. And what would the Scottish Conservatives do differently if you were in power with regards to drug deaths? So we, we're already introducing a bill called the Right to Recovery. And look, I, I'm a practising NHS doctor. I'm still working and I see patients. And the problem that we've got with patients is there is a window. When somebody has a drug addiction, they have a window where something normally has happened and they've come in and say, I need help. And right now in the system, we just aren't able to give them the help that they need quick enough. Uh, and so the Right to Recovery bill that is, has been brought in by the Scottish Conservatives will tell people that they have a right in law to get the help when they want it and how they want it as well. And that's really important that we can do that and we can do it quickly because when we lose that window of opportunity, people will go away from us. Paul? Sandish, brief question from me. Do you favour the decriminalisation of cannabis? So I, I think that it's very important that the people, and it's not just cannabis, I think the people who uh, have a problem with drugs, we don't need to criminalise the people that are involved. But, but, let's be don't, absolutely don't they, I'm clear. sorry, don't they criminalise themselves by, by taking illegal drugs? They, they have an addiction. We need to medicalise people who are uh, having a problem with drugs. But there are gangs, there are people supplying the drugs that are, are, are a horrible, horrible stain on our society. And those are the people we have to go after. Those are the people we have to really make sure that stop doing that because they're not just doing drugs. They're doing other terrible crimes and we need to stamp them out and put really harsh conditions. We need to really go for them. And Sandesh, I, we're a little bit pushed for time, but I know there was another story that caught your eye as well, and that's a recent sort of breaking news around the Scottish Cricket Board. Yeah, so here in Scotland, I mean, we, we've all seen what's happened in Yorkshire. Uh, and here in Scotland, the report is coming out showing uh, that it probably is institutional racism within Cricket Scotland. The board has resigned uh, whilst you have been on air. Uh, over this. Look, I love cricket. I I'm of Indian origin. It's almost a religion. Uh, and I'm not unique. There's loads of people from ethnic backgrounds who absolutely adore cricket and play it. But they're not getting through to the top level. So something has, ha has happened. Something has gone wrong. We don't know what that is. But we can't go any further forward unless the people involved in Cricket Scotland, the people involved in the game here in Scotland, accept the reports of this finding. We have to accept it. And then we need to go finding out what we can not only do about it, but why this has happened.